started looking at bees probably 30 years ago. There were some issues going on with the U.S. hunting program and we started looking into that and that led us to start looking at pollination markets. The suppliers are commercial beekeepers. The demanders are farmers, producers of things like almonds and apples and cherries. The bees have to be taken to the orchards. So every year in February, 70% of the bees in the United States travel to California to pollinate almonds. Bees coming all the way from Florida and North Carolina, the beekeepers put them in the orchards and they stay in the orchards for two weeks or so and then they take them back home. Almost all the commercial pollination is done by these managed honeybees. Our managed honeybee populations declining and are we in danger of running out of food because of that? No. <laughs> in the winter of 2006 and 2007, this affliction called colony collapse disorder hit the United States. And there were thousands of news articles about how our honeybee populations were disappearing. There had been a 30 to 35 percent mortality rate that winter, roughly a 30 percent winter mortality rate over the next eight to 10 years. But in fact, if you look at the data collected by the USDA, the number of honeybee colonies in the United States has fallen over time. But once you get to about 2006 and 2007, it just sort of levels out. So instead of falling off a cliff, it just flattens out. And we've got the same number of honeybee colonies in the United States now as we did in 2000. We're not running out of managed honeybees. And again, those are the ones you really need to worry about because those are the ones that provide almost all the commercial pollination in the United States. Commercial beekeepers are savvy businessmen. But what do beekeepers do when they go outside and they realize that one of their colonies is dead? Well, they put a healthy colony right next to the dead colony. They take roughly half the bees out of the healthy colony and put them in the dead colony. They buy a queen bee through the mail for about $20, stick her in the, the new colony, and within six weeks you have two healthy colonies. In fact, we surveyed Washington and Oregon beekeepers did it for three winters. And one thing that was fairly striking was that these beekeepers were losing quite a few bees, but they ended up coming out of the winter typically with more bees than they went into the winter with. So these beekeepers, they had made the adjustments they needed to make very quickly. They did it so quickly that it's hard to find any economic impacts of colony collapse disorder. Colony numbers haven't declined, honey production hasn't declined, pollination fees, most of those haven't changed. CCD is a classic example of how markets help keep bees alive. Beekeepers had the incentive to respond to change conditions because supply and demand in the markets for you know, pollination fees and honey. And they had an incentive to make those changes and they made those changes. Beekeeping is not an easy business. And I don't, I don't want to give the impression that the beekeeping is a, is a breeze. Beekeepers are not a lot worse off now than they were before CCD hit and they may be better off.